Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about Instagram. Now I know what you're thinking, Sam, we all know about Instagram. It's 2019, it's now here, it's big, we've realised it's become this dominant force in social media. What's left to talk about? Well, this is what's left to talk about. Now, there are the obvious ways that people build Instagram channels and make money and monetize it, and we'll get into those, I'm sure. But I'm hoping that there are a couple of options here that you might not have considered. And if you have considered them, hopefully this can offer a little bit more insight into how you can actually feasibly pull these things off and optimize them in a way that will hopefully be the most efficient way for you to benefit the most from them. So the first thing that I want to talk to is the fact that content is king. And what I mean by that is that the content that you are posting or brands or anybody else, the actual content that you're posting is the most important thing on this platform. It can be photo or it can be video, but it needs to be good. And I know that kind of goes without saying, but it's really important. Especially now, mid to late 2019, Instagram has actually been testing out in a number of different countries now, the option of not showing views. And what that's going to mean is that for anybody that's producing content on that platform, whether it's a brand or an individual, an influencer, just anybody that's producing content on Instagram, Nobody's going to be able to see how many views that content's getting and therefore the actual quality of the content is going to be that much more important because that is how brands, that is how companies, anybody that's putting money into the app or its users is going to differentiate between who they're going to put that money to. So with that said, the first thing that I'm going to talk to is photography and videography. Now that doesn't mean to say that you have to be a professional photographer or you have to be a professional videographer, cinematographer, camera connoisseur. Essentially what we're talking to here is that it's going to pay off to develop your skills using a camera and these days there's no real excuse. Right? I'm not even going to talk brands, but the phones that are available now and the cameras and the equipment that's available now at a very, very cost effective rate, as well as the tutorials on how to best utilize these and apps that can enhance photos and visuals and effects. There's no real excuse anymore for not being able to produce good content. And if you are in a position where you're unsure about how to do that, I really do encourage you to just spend a day or two whether it's on YouTube just searching different tutorials, how to shoot photos, how to produce really great video content. I'm sure there is a wealth of really, really useful tutorials that can allow you to develop those skills pretty damn quick. So let's talk specifically about how you as a videographer or a photographer or someone that now has a little bit of skill in those departments can monetize that. Well firstly, there's a lot of brands, companies and organizations that are looking for people like you that can produce cost effective, high quality content. Even if it's local organizations near you that you can reach out to and you can say, hey, here's a portfolio of some photos that I've taken or some videos that I've produced and edited. Would you consider hiring me on a monthly basis to produce this kind of content for your brand? That's one option. You could go even further than that. And you could start looking at saying, how can I do something like that or, and or, start producing content for myself that I can actually start building my own channel for and start producing compelling content or high quality content that just general users are going to want to start following my channels to start viewing and accessing. Well, that then allows you to open up and access new doors for leveraging your own platform at that point. So let's not go too deep on photographers, videographers, you get the picture. And maybe that's not of interest to you. But there's other options available. So let's look at something like strategy and management. Now, it's really important to note that any brand, organization, even personal people that are on Instagram, they're looking for strategy. 
and management, or some of them are. Because at the end of the day, this is something, it's a skill that's developed, it takes time, it takes money, it takes effort for brands to be able to do these sorts of things. Now they have an option, they can go and hire an agency, which could cost them a lot of money to do, or they could be looking for freelancers, potentially such as yourself, that could come to them and say, well I've got ideas that I could actually help manage and strategize and implement those strategies for your brand on Instagram. Again, not just brands, it could be local companies, it could even be personal influencers that just don't have the time to manage these platforms in the way that they would like to because they need to be out shooting the content or doing the other things. And let's face it, it is very, very important to get a system in place and a strategy in place that shows how often a, a, a page is posting, what's the type of content, is it on trend? What's the description involved in that? Are we doing hashtags? If so, what hashtags are we looking at doing? There's so much that goes into strategy and management of these platforms on Instagram specifically. This is a great opportunity for someone such as yourself to perhaps step in and fill that role. And you can happily charge companies a monthly sum of money to be managing their platforms for them. Now perhaps you've already thought of those options, and so in which case, let's dive straight into UGC. Now for those that don't know, UGC stands for User Generated Content. And what a lot of companies are able to do here is leverage other people's content to benefit themselves, whether that's through growing their platform or monetizing that content in certain ways with permissions and so on, of course. But this is something that is an option to anyone out there, really, to promote and produce a user-generated content-based platform or channel on Instagram. So I'll give you an example of this. It could be a fan page. It could be a brand fan page, such as perhaps you're a huge Ferrari fan and you're gonna set up a Ferrari fan page and you're gonna have other users on the platform that are massive fans of Ferrari as well produce content and send it to you for the chance to have it displayed on your channel. Now, what that does immediately is it sparks the opportunity for exponential growth because you're not a single entity that's starting out. You're kind of leveraging something else that's out there and other people want to associate to that because they're already fans of that thing as well. It could be anything. It doesn't necessarily have to be brand orientated. It could just be a general fitness page perhaps. It could be anything that you have a passion for but ultimately, you're having other users generate a lot of the content, which allows you to free up your time and also exponentially grow that channel for the ultimate goal to be able to monetize that channel. Because if we're using fitness as an example, you can very easily at that point say, well, hey, fitness brand, nutrition company, you want to sell more supplements. Well, I have one million followers on this channel and they are all fitness followers. The demographic is specific because that's what the page is orientated towards. And now you're gonna have to pay X amount of money if you want me to promote your products on this. Now of course, for a lot of people this goes without saying, but it's often under misunderstood as to how easy this sort of thing can be. Of course, it takes time, it takes effort, it's a saturated market right now, but at the same time, if you can find a niche, if you can find an area or a way of doing this that other people haven't quite optimized, and you can differentiate your channel slightly to allow yourself to grow in this space, you don't have to have huge, huge followings to be able to do this kind of thing, because at the end of the day, most brands are looking to reach specific demographics. And by doing this option, you can guarantee that the people that are following this page are very, very specific to that type of industry or market or whatever the page is orientated around, which allows you to then target the brands and the companies that you're gonna approach that much more specifically. Now, the final thing that I wanna to talk to on Instagram is personal brands and the importance of developing personal brands in 2019 and moving forwards. Never before has it been so important to develop your own personal brand. Now, there's people like Gary Vaynerchuk who are very, very famous for promoting this kind of mentality. 
And I kind of want to double down on that. It is really, really important because at the end of the day, there are a lot of companies now that no matter what job you're going for, whether it's a specific nine to five in a pre-existing corporation, or even if you're trying to be a, a member of talent for something, it doesn't really matter. The fact of the matter is, everybody is going to go to Instagram predominantly, other social medias as well, yes, but Instagram predominantly to get an idea of who you are. And if you're using Instagram or abusing Instagram in a different way, you've got to remember that everybody has access to this. Unless you have a private page, it's public for anyone and everyone to see. So you've got to bear that in mind. If you're going for a job, you should expect that interviewer to probably check out your Instagram page. And if you've got inappropriate things there, it may well or may very likely affect your chances of getting that job. These are the sorts of things that it's worthwhile at least just thinking about and considering. You might not be looking for a job on Instagram to become an influencer or whatever. Maybe you are, maybe you're not. It doesn't really matter. But it is still important to maintain a good image on Instagram. Or at least the image that you want to portray. That doesn't mean being fake, of course. Authenticity is very, very important. Just in life in general. But at the same time, you've got to bear in mind the people that are watching your channel and also the importance of building a personal brand for the future because you don't know what steps you might want to go into five, well, whatever, two, five, ten years time. We don't know. You don't know. And so maybe your choices will change. Maybe all these things might change. But if you've developed a personal brand, you can guarantee one thing for sure. Your options will remain open. So I encourage everybody that's watching this to think about what you're putting on Instagram, definitely. If there's options of you monetizing that, then fantastic. But at the end of the day, you should definitely think about what you're putting out there. There are options also now for things like e-commerce. And so if you develop any kind of following, you can even then start leveraging that following into things like selling clothes through Instagram, into redirecting people through swipe ups to your own personal page. Maybe you have a website, maybe you have a subscription based website, maybe you have products, maybe. These are all things to get you thinking about the different options that this one platform could present to you if you really wanted to or just took a little bit of time. Because at the end of the day, this could be a side thing that you put a little bit of time into every week, posting something up every day, but if you're thinking about it carefully and producing good content first and foremost, you'd be surprised where this could go. Thank you so much for watching, guys. As ever, I really do appreciate it. I hope that this content, at least if there's just one person out there that either relates to this or thinks at the end of it, you know what, that's made me rethink how I'm going to approach doing these things or, wow, there was something insightful there that I can actually use moving forwards, then I feel like I've done my job well, right? That's what I'm trying to do here is effectively provide insight, ideas, options that could potentially just get people thinking differently or maybe even provide some kind of advice or experience that could allow someone to go and better themselves in some way, shape or form themselves as well. So with that said, if this content was useful, please hit the like button. It's very useful for me. Comment down below. I would love it if you subscribed. It's, it's literally just, it's just a click and uh, that would be much appreciated. See you on the next one, guys.